This is video podcast four, Pulmonary Imaging, Differential Diagnoses, Part One. Hello, I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia. These differentials are not intended to be all-inclusive. They're designed as an aid to remembering a few of the most important causes for each of the findings shown. Consult a textbook for all-inclusive differentials. How this presentation works is first the case is shown as an unknown. You're to identify the differential that the case exemplifies. Use the pause control on your computer or MP3 player. The next slide will be the title of the differential, in this case anterior mediastinal masses. Again, use the pause control. The next slide will reveal the differential diagnosis. And the last slide reveals the diagnosis of the original case shown. This podcast is designed to be used as either an audio-only podcast or video-only podcast or both. Let's begin with the next case. This is the differential. Anterior mediastinal masses. Pause your computer or MP3 player. The four causes are thymoma, teratoma, substernal thyroid, and lymphoma. This is the second differential. The differential is acute airspace disease. There are four causes. The causes can be pulmonary edema, pneumonia, aspiration, or hemorrhage. This is the next differential. The differential is pneumomediastinum. There are five causes. Causes include ruptured esophagus, ruptured trachea or bronchus, iatrogenic or traumatic, asthma, or sometimes pneumoperitoneum. This is the next differential. The differential is for an opacified hemithorax. There are four causes. The four causes of an opacified hemithorax are atelectasis, pleural effusion, pneumonia, and post pneumonectomy. This is the next differential. The differential is for large cavitary lung lesions. There are three causes. The causes for large cavitary lung lesions include abscess, carcinoma, and tuberculosis. This is the next differential diagnosis. The differential is for bibasilar interstitial disease. There are six causes given. The six causes are bronchiectasis, chronic aspiration, desquitum of interstitial pneumonia, asbestosis, sickle cell disease, and scleroderma. This is the next differential. The differential is for micronodular lung disease. There are four causes given. The causes of micronodular lung disease include metastases, sarcoidosis, pneumoconiosis, and miliary tuberculosis. This is the next differential. The differential is for small cavitary lung lesions. There are four causes given. 
The causes of small cavitary lung lesions include septic emboli, rheumatoid nodules, squamous or transitional cell metastases, and Wegener's granulomatosis. This is the next differential. The differential is for lymphangitic spread to the lungs. There are six causes given. Causes of lymphangitic spread to the lungs includes lung cancer, breast cancer, stomach carcinoma, pancreas carcinoma, laryngeal CA, and cervical CA. This is the next differential. The differential is multiple lung nodules. There are five causes given. Five causes for multiple lung nodules include metastases, Wegener's granulomatosis, rheumatoid nodules, multiple AVMs, and septic emboli. This is the next differential. The differential is for pulmonary interstitial edema. There are three causes given. Causes of pulmonary interstitial edema include congestive heart failure, lymphangitic spread, and an allergic reaction. This is the next differential. The differential is for chronic interstitial disease or pulmonary fibrosis. Six causes are given. Possible causes for chronic interstitial disease include pneumoconiosis, interstitial pneumonias, granulomatous disease, neoplastic disease, idiopathic fibrosis, and collagen vascular disease. This is the next differential. The differential is for a unilateral hyperlucent lung. There are four causes given. Four causes of a unilateral hyperlucent lung include Swire James syndrome, pulmonary embolism, pneumothorax, and obstructive emphysema. This is the next differential. The differential is rapidly clearing airspace disease. There are four causes given. Causes for rapidly clearing airspace disease include hemorrhage, pulmonary edema, aspiration, and pneumococcal pneumonia. This is the next differential. The differential is for masses with air bronchograms. There are three causes given. Causes for masses with air bronchograms include lymphoma, alveolar cell carcinoma, and pseudolymphoma or maltoma. This is the next differential. The differential is for a cavitating pneumonia. There are four causes given. Causes for a cavitating pneumonia include staphylococcal, streptococcal, tuberculosis, and gram-negative pneumonias such as Klebsiella.